Sup guys, my name is Dan and today I'm gonna tell you about some popular, very popular, popular messenger scams. Uh, this will be done uh, while I'm walking. I'm uh, still doing the um, my own challenge that I made to myself is using a sweat coin every day. Uh, you can uh, you can join me in this effort. Uh, use the sweat coin and earn some uh, crypto or whatever bonus coins, and then get some discounts and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, uh, moving to the topic. So, have you been ever have you been ever scammed? Uh, actually, today is a little bit windy. I hope that my microphone won't suffer too much. But uh, still, I will try to explain you what could happen with you if you are uh, if you are not very um, suspicious and not very um, not very into scams. Okay, so uh, guess the situation. A very pretty girl, she can be European, she can be Chinese, usually ch very pretty Chinese girls, avatars used, are writing you, is writing you in a messenger, like Telegram, WhatsApp, whatnot. This girl first tries to convince you to move to WhatsApp or uh, to move to similar messengers, uh, that's, uh, that, that could happen, or maybe she will just talk to you in the messenger of your choice. She can be talking uh, Chinese, she can be talking English, she can talk Russian, she can talk whatever language you are talking. This scam is international, it happens everywhere in all of the countries. And I've seen a lot of it, but I always was uh, picking, the, picking up the scammers and joking on them. So I will, call it, I will gonna tell you what are the indicators that the person who are you talking is a scammer and then i will tell you what to do with that uh, what what this person will try to convince you to do and uh, all the details about that so indicators the best indicator for you is always your intuition if your intuition says oh come on this girl wouldn't wouldn't talk to you usually girls never start their dialogue usually men starts and uh, this this is actually not only about russia or uk or england but it's more more or less international girl may start talking if uh, you're in bar yes somewhere offline or if she she feels fine about it but this is a really super super duper rare case usually girls will not start talking to you by themselves Self, or maybe just in general chat yes but not in private chat if the girl starts talking with you in private chat by herself you should think is it really she wants to talk to you or she's a scammer she's probably an old uh, guy not a girl at all or uh, she's a bot or whatever uh, so uh, next thing you need to so, so you always have to follow your intuition if your intuition says Ah, uh, listen, there is something wrong, then it probably is. Okay, then, uh, what are other indicators? A good indicator for me personally is that I have a lot of Chinese ladies writing to me in English. So, uh, yes, I've been to China once or twice, but it was a long time ago, and I, I couldn't tell that I'm really a fan of Chinese type of look and uh, I haven't uh, talked to a Chinese uh, woman a lot. Uh, sorry if, if some uh, Chinese girl is watching me. I, I have nothing to I, know, I have nothing bad to say about you but I haven't uh, had a, a lot of talks with Chinese girls. So I'm like why these Chinese girls are trying to talk with me? Why? I, that's, that's strange. That's strange, right? Okay, uh, let's say you are not sure that this is scammer or you want to try your luck or you are 100% you are sure that you can kind of overcome the situation even the, if this, the girl is a scammer. So what would you do? Okay, you start chatting and you realize that uh, very so she, she can talk to you several hours, she can talk to you several days she can even talk to you several months trust me i had this i i've chat with the scammers just for fun just to take time from somebody who could be scammed in this uh, at this point 
So trust me, they can talk to you for months. They can be pretending uh, that they're good friends, they, uh, that you are good friends together. They can send you real photos or maybe fake photos, doesn't matter. They can talk with you about food, about uh, weather, about traveling. They can see very nice persons. And uh, after meanwhile, after some point, at some point, she will start seeding into you idea that she has somebody. That, that's one of, of course, this is one of the cases. There, there might be a lot of different cases. But anyway, uh, she will probably start uh, saying to you like, oh, I have, a, I have a parent or I have a grandparent or I have a, some relative who is very rich. He's a very rich trader. And she will talk to you uh, just a little bit of information, convincing you to ask her. Of course, guys and girls, if, if you are a girl, this might be a man as well. I'm pretty sure this uh, scam types <laughs> exists for all genders. Uh, so beware, beware. It shouldn't be only that men should beware. No, girls should be beware as well uh, of random men, of course, talking. But probably girls are already protected from this because girls are girls, right? <laughs> okay. So what happens next? She will try you to convince you to ask about this uh, relative who has a lot of money and she will tell you a story either okay he's a trader or she will tell you a story uh, uh, I have a very good experience with some kind of crypto she will tell you the crypto story okay so I have some kind of crypto that uh, allowed me to gain 1000 uh, oh sorry that's uh, just a sweat coin ad. <laughs> I had to to, to watch here. <laughs> By the way, crypto, crypto ad. Okay, so she will tell you a story about crypto or about very rich relative, and she will say you like, oh, you want to join maybe the scheme, uh, the the trade, uh, the trader or the crypto. Uh, there is an exchange for you, and she will send you the link to exchange, and the exchange will see will look. Like it's a real exchange, like a valid one. And it's a very convincing story because this exchange that these people are using, I've seen them. They are copy-pasted from web interfaces like blockchain.com. They are just having a different domain name. Maybe one letter is missing, one letter is different. Uh, it can be replaced from a different language whatsoever. So it's pretty easy actually to trick you to think that this is a valid website and of course if you are look at the logo and google by the logo you will find that this is a valid website but if you go through the very carefully through the url copy paste it to a different editor change the font and see what the url really looks like it might be something different so uh, she is convincing you to register first she will get access to your passwords she will resell your passwords everywhere she will probably hack into your email if you register on this website with a uh, all day round used password so use a password generator if you want to try to register this scam fake fish website and uh, yeah so that will that will probably happen and then also what else will happen is of course at first she will not resell your data she will try to convince you to add money to this exchange and what uh, the, you do is she says like oh click uh, click deposit money get the wallet address like you would do in the normal exchange but this is a fake exchange and the address generated are owned by the persons who are making this scam so when you will well you will get an address and send your crypto there it will arrive to their wallets and they will vanish and this will rinse and repeat that, that's that that's what will happen if she's talking uh, talking to you about some kind of some kind of trader some kind of friend or relative who is professional trader you should invest some dollars to him she she could give you a private paypal address or she could give you uh, she could give you some also crypto address or whatever and say okay this is his wallet i will let you i will let him know that you will you will invest in him listen if something is uh, seemingly too good to be true then it's probably is so don't trust these people don't trust scammers they will scam you 
and instead what you can do, you can scam them back. So, of course, you can jo joke on them, you can, just, you can just say, okay, I will invest in your crypto, but first you have to invest in mine. Yeah, and yeah, you can just uh, <laughs> get a random crypto wallet and uh, uh, find some very good uh, climbing crypto and ask her to, to join this crypto and give, give her your address, <laughs> something like that. So, like, doing the same what is she is doing to you, doing just in, back. Uh, so, um, what could be said additionally about indicators, uh, about, about all this stuff? What can be else uh, seen as indicators? Okay, talking about finance, uh, talking about finance right away. Or if she or he convinces you to add money really hardly, like, okay, can you add $2,000? Okay, you cannot add $2,000, you don't have $2,000, okay, add $200. And she will, or she or he will write you constantly all the time about this. So very often, <laughs> very frequent. And uh, yes, what else? Uh, you can try to convince her or him to meet in real. She will of course say that she's from the same city, she will say that. But in reality she's some random guy, uh, random old guy from G G Gavana, I don't know, some African country, uh, whatever. There is there is a, a lot of scammers and uh, Niger, etc. So be, be very careful and uh, if you convince her or him to meet, meet in very popular places at daytime where there are a lot of people uh go sit of course when when you are meeting her in real life it doesn't mean 100 percent that uh, she's okay she's fine she's uh, she's not a scammer it doesn't mean but if you meet her one two three four five times and you are not speaking too much about finance or not speaking at all and she seems like a good person, then maybe she is. But uh, you know, this is a rare cases. People are not communicating in random chats to strangers nowadays. They can use maybe some sort of um, tool to communicate like Tinder or Facebook or some other tools that people are using to, you know, get a crush on somebody. But in real life, uh, in, in like random chats like Telegram or WhatsApp, a random number is writing you a message from a different country especially. They will say, you, oh, I'm in, in your city, but I have this number because I, I'm originally from this country and I'm on vacation at my grandfather or dad or whatever in Norway. Yeah, of course she is in Norway. Don't trust her. Uh, another good check is could be that uh, you could ask her uh, what what country is she at right now before telling when where you are of course she could do a research on you and find your country before contacting you but that might be not always the case so if you ask her what is her country or if you start speaking to her in different language maybe in language that she is con trying to convince you she knows <laughs> maybe she, she actually don't know this language or she will start using google translate just as you do so there are a lot of ways to distinguish scammers but but really be very careful because people nowadays are having like a million millions way million million of ways of getting your money getting money from your pockets and uh, it, it's really bad. It's really bad. It's it's not it's not good to lose your money. It's not good to to lose your money like that. So be very careful. Do not uh, send anybody money unless you want to lose them. Uh, unless you know this person in real life for long. Um, or uh, yeah, just just be very careful. Yeah. So that's basically it. That's that's my story about scammers. Um, just follow your intuition, check everything. Also, you, you can check. Uh, real people never register uh, nicks uh, with, uh, usually no, are not registering nicks with a lot, lot of numbers and weird names. So real people register real names or fake names, but the fake names with no numbers. If there are two numbers, it may be okay. If there are three or four, okay, maybe this is a year of birth or a favorite number like 777, that could be fine. But if a person have five or more digits in their username, unless it's a phone number or something like that, that's probably a scammer.
Why do they use these numbers? Because they need to generate a lot of fake usernames and they don't want to generate real usernames and they are even not bothering writing a software that will generate real looking usernames and they even don't bother using a ready-made APIs for that that uh, exists because they are very lazy and they're very stupid and they don't know how to code so they cannot use API they cannot write their own software so they're just basically uh, registering a username with random numbers in it because this is the fastest they, is they could do uh, okay, so if you see a lot of numbers, if you see a number from a different country, if you see stuff like that, th these are indicators. If you see uh, her or him having a different avatars everywhere, people can have a different avatars, but they shouldn't differ too much. And they should uh, usually show the same person and maybe the same rooms and the same, you know, everything. Also another indicator is when the account was registered. If the account was registered just recently, one, two, three, four months ago, five months, six months ago, maybe one year ago. So these are all accounts that registered by fake bots and scammers. Real person have an Instagram account, Google account, Facebook account, whatever account for his life. He was probably registered somewhere in 2005, 2007, 2010. Somebody last stage shavy maybe registered, okay, five, six years ago. Somebody could really just recently register, but chances that you will be contacted by some random girl who has a very long name with numbers from some weird random country uh, originally, yeah? via telegram or whatsapp or other anonymous so-called messengers uh, no sorry whatsapp is not anonymous i mean telegram or maybe metrics or irc or whatever they are there is a possibility that this is a real person and uh, maybe that's even a re really sh her photos she's photos or yeah her photos sorry um or his photos but uh, it doesn't matter if this person is a scammer and uh, that's how you know it. So you also, can, of course, can ch ch check uh, person identity with, uh, you know, uh, a lot of countries have online databases of uh, identity check. You can try to Google through this person. Usually, usually if this is per a real person, you will find a lot of his ac accounts in different platforms. Maybe some person has two, three accounts, okay. But some will have five, ten, some will have 50 accounts. And you will have, you, you will find it with Google, with DuckDuckGo, with Yahoo, whatever, you will find a lot of them. So just search for this person, look for clues, or maybe just block this person and forget and don't, uh, just don't waste your time. Uh, there are so many scams out there and of course this scam type that I'm describing here is not the only not the one and not the only type that exists but it is one of the very popular right now a lot of people are writing through messengers you messages like oh hello let's let's talk let's chat are, are you good friend what what are you doing stuff like that and trying to convince you to do something that you don't have to do so be very careful I hope this video was a little bit useful for you, a little bit interesting, and see you guys next time. It's zero at night right now, midnight. <laughs> Here you can see my program crashed again, <laughs> so it has minus steps. I don't know if I had minus 406, will I have minus points now? Because I have minus steps, probably not. Yeah, I don't have a minus points, but that's that's <laughs> that's very funny. Okay, guys. Anyway, uh, stay safe and don't trust scammers. Check everything. Check facts. Google. If you are unsure, uh, write me a message. Write me a message in Telegram, uh, fake Snowden, or write me in right beneath this uh, video, whatever it's on Odyssey or YouTube or whatever other hosting it is. I read these messages all the time, I'm trying to answer them all. Or write me in Facebook or in, in other messengers with the nick handle SXIII or contact me via my personal website SXIII.ru RU stands for Russia, right? Thanks and see you in the next video, hope you liked it, bye bye! No, that's not right! That is not right. Why it's not turning? 
Okay, I was going to say to, <laughs> to look at you, but <laughs> the camera is a bit broken. So, bye bye, guys.